In this video, I will show you how to connect the Raspberry Pi Pico with the MPU 6050 accelerometer and gyroscope motion tracking device. For this video, we will get the accelerometer and gyroscope values using the Sony IDE. The following are the materials needed Raspberry Pi Pico, MPU 6050, and four jumper wires. For the Pico and MPU 6050 connections, Pico pin 36 is connected to MPU 6050 VCC that is color red. Pico pin 38 is connected to MPU 6050 ground that is color black. Pico pin 1 is connected to MPU SDA that is color orange. Pico pin 2 is connected to MPU 6050 SCL that is color yellow. To interface of the Raspberry Pi Pico and MPU 6050, please refer to my GitHub page for the full code. The link of my GitHub page is provided in the description of this video. In particular, go to pico underscore mpu6050.py file. Copy this code, then go back to Thony. Let us close this file first by clicking stop close this and then let us open a new file and then paste the code that we have copied from my github page then go to the last line and comment it and then go to view then make sure that the plotter is clicked Oh, sorry, let's unclick now. Let's click again. And then let's save this file. Let us name it as one. And then let's run this code. We can view then the values for both accelerometer and gyroscope. But here in the platter portion, there's nothing. So we have to click stop first and then comment this last line then run the code there we can see the values for accelerometer accelerometer alone and we can see the plot specifically the x value is represented by blue color the y value is represented by the orange color and the Z value is represented by the green color. Let us stop this code from running. If you want to plot the gyroscope, uh, let's comment the accelerometer values. Let's delete this and then comment this line, second to the last line. Run the code. There you can see the values for and plot for the gyroscope. For this video, credits go go to Mic Micronote Tech Tech. Thank you for watching.